Geminis, welcome. This is your singles reading for the end of January 2022. Just doing uh, four cards here. And what we have is the bottom of the deck. This page of pinnacles, guys. So, I think Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for someone who's single. And actually, this reading, I gotta be honest with you, I don't really see anyone showing up uh, here. So, this kind of is all about you. But it's important reading. Um, I think this page of pinnacles, you see, is looking very almost longingly at this pinnacle. And this is your energy in and around love and relationships showing up here with the nine of pinnacles, which is an excellent energy to have here. Um, you could argue maybe the best you can have here. Nine of pinnacles, nine of cups. Uh, being very stable. It emphasizes uh, being able to take care of yourself here with the pinnacles. But typically, too, someone is going to be self-contained, uh, emotionally uh, self-contained, mature, capable. It's not someone typically you're going to see out, you know, shaking the bushes or joining dating sites kind of energy. But I believe with this overall energy of this page of pinnacles here, it's this if this is your reading you're beginning to think about there might be something missing from your life like you know you're thinking it's just about perfect and it you know it's a little cliche and everything but i think what's going on here is it you're kind of just starting to think about here right now or the recent past hey eh, maybe i do want to think about adding uh, a relationship to my life here um and I see with the two of pinnacles, this is in the advice position, but a lot of pinnacles, uh, I got to think you are. I think you're probably just ready. You probably, I don't know, you might be one of those people that just was saying, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do me. I'm going to make sure my career is taken care of or more children if you have them or my responsibilities are covered. And then I'll worry about relationships. But I think you're getting to the point now where you can start worrying about relationships. But the two of ones here is... This is in the blocking position, so what's challenging you? It, it's just not being able to take action on it. You know, I think like just a lot of it is kind of inertia. It's like we get comfortable. It, it probably wasn't easy to become a Nine of Pentacles. You know, uh, you may have spent a lot of time and effort to get here. Um, and it's not even so much about the other person as you realize that this will change your life. You know, and you're kind of, maybe you've got things going along pretty good. Again, I always see the two of pentacles. Things are going along pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> I usually don't see it as choice. Here I do. This is advice from spirit. And, and spirit's just kind of saying, well, I think with this two of ones, you're not, you're not wanting to take action on it. You know, ones are action. It's very simple. Um, you're thinking about it. You're walking right up to it. You're all over it. But then, yeah, you know, it's like, you fill out everything on the dating site and you get ready to punch the enter button, but you don't. You know, maybe you've done it several times, you know. Leave me a uh, leave me a message. <laughs> really comment. Uh, <clears throat> but now with this two of pentacles, and this is advice from spirit, and you're you know, just putting you on notice that I think you know this. It's like you really gotta choose here. You know? It's like, you know, everything's balanced. But that's the advice to approach this from a balanced position. That's like, you know, in doing this, in opening yourself to a relationship, Jim and I, it's not like you're going to, uh, you know, self-sabotage yourself, uh, you know, because um, you've got it together here, you know. That's the only thing you can bring to a relationship is yourself. So it looks like you're bringing 100%. You know, you've got 10 of Pentacles. You consider this page. But it's almost like saying, in order for me to be truly complete, this page in the Nine of Pentacles, and have my Ten of Pentacles, start to realize I think I need another person. And then the outcome here for Gemini's uh, as singles is you're going to be looking. This kind of says you will be looking. This is my dating site card. If I've said before, <laughs> a lot of times, like if I was going to have a dating site like for astrology, you astrology too, yeah, you, I would call it the three of ones dating site, you know. Um, I don't think it would work. Thought about a lot. You, you could, you could 
probably work if you had everyone's uh, down to the minute, you know, of their time. And you really went at it that way. You could probably have a program that could do something amazing. But uh, it'd be hard to get uh, very much of a database like that. And anyway, synastry is so tricky. Uh, but the three of wands here, guys, you know, don't be afraid to join a dating site. I mean, as I read the other day, it's like a, in the 80 percentile now of how most relationships meet online. A lot of that dating site. So, you know, I've been there. Um, so I know it's not easy, you know. Uh, but in any case, you're going to put yourself out here, Jim and I. So, you know, the way this works to me a lot of times is that when you go into this three of wands energy, it's actions, you just start going out more. Somebody says, yeah, we were thinking about doing so-and-so. And you're like, whereas before you'd be like, oh, that's nice. You'd be like, hey, that sounds fun. Can I go? And you, you're out more period uh, you're sitting in a restaurant in a bar in a bookstore you know uh, in a classroom and somebody you know catches your eye you kind of lock eyes whereas before you would have just unconsciously even you wouldn't even give it a second thought you had quickly looked away because you weren't looking for this person yet you know uh, I think this is just happening two of wands reverse two of pinnacles it's like you're you're just in the process of opening up and doing this. So now once you go to this three of wands and they give you that little glance and you catch eyes, maybe you hold their gaze for just a few seconds. Not, it's hardly noticeable. Maybe they don't even really notice it. All, they, all you know is all of a sudden they're over there talking to you, next to you, engaging you. And it wouldn't have happened before just simply because of this almost unconscious glance you know so much and i uh, just an example let's see but i i i do have a feeling that something like what will happen here what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to be looking around and i think you're going to be sitting most likely uh this is inside somewhere and you're going to see them and you're going to hold eye contact for a, a tick too long and because you listen to this, you're going to be, holy shit, this is David Sky Terrell, what he was saying. Did send me, you know, a comment. <laughs> so thank you, guys. I hope you like to get something out of it. Uh, hit a like and help me get to promote this, you know, for the AI uh, algorithm. <laughs> wink, wink. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you, guys.